What up guys, just doing a little self-blogging, waiting for the team to roll through, uh, prepping up for a big meeting this morning with the Indy clients. Um, lots of exciting things happening today, big day, big day. Big calls are in the day, lining up some more interview guests, lining up some speaking stuff, lining up some biz dev, so it's gonna be a good day. Just wanna say what's up, good morning from the top of the world. <laughs> All right, so back to the daily vlog life. All right, let's plan the day. So um, first step is to get them the list of deliverables that we promised over the next seven days, as well as the list of deliverables that they've promised over the next seven days. I'm really excited about the influencer piece of this. Like, if they can give us a list of influencers that they know that we can reach out to, it's great, as well as kind of what I mentioned just now about reaching out to the contacts that they already have. Um, so let's get that together. And then I have several calls today. I have a call at one, and then Augustine's coming at three. What do we, we have something at four? A call with um, the gentleman from Bolivia. Oh, he wants to work with us, so this is cool. Another just another great example of um, content. Like the whole thing I just said, which is put out content and see what comes, it's like, Another, word, another way of saying that is just respect the magic. Like respect the magic of what happens. So we just put some content out. We got an email, a guy that wants to work with us from California, um, same thing this morning, a video a person that wants to work with us. Like there's a lot of people that want to get in here right now, which is exciting. Um, and it's only, like we're not even looking for people. Yeah. We're just putting out content, they like it, and they, they, they hit us up. So that's cool. Just keep putting content out, guys. Now, um, so Thomas, who's shooting this for a moment. Thank you for the your uh, flexibility. Um, I, we have Elliot coming in tonight, uh, also known as Dunk, also known as um, Superstar Instagram Extraordinaire. I need you to put, he yeah, works for our boy Gary V. I I need you to put together just a list of talking points for me so I can kind of know a little bit more about him. That's it. Um, let's do that in the next couple hours. You're putting together the best of season two BTV today, right? Um, I want to use magic, our magic moment Monday of, I did a really nice little video in front of the swimming pool by my house that I love so much that is now closed, closing this week. So I want to do that as a magic moment Monday. Um, and then uh, we need to fill in our Jolt thing. Huge shout out to Jolt for their launch in New York City. We need to fill out the Jolt profile um, that's happening. Hey. And then uh, Magic Moment Monday is going to be the pool. Jolt profile. I need also, Thomas, if you can spend 30 minutes looking up this guy named Lee Brower, who's a kind of a famous uh, speaker. I have a call with him at one. I want to be a little bit educated about what he does. Um, he's, I think we're going to probably try to do something together. Uh, I need to think about with Thomas. Uh, other, other writing stuff that we can do. Put together some article ideas. Um, I need to reach out to Entrepreneurship Magazine for my own thing, as well as um, to see if they'd be interested in covering the social, the Oscars for social entrepreneurship. And Very, like blog, and blog. blog and blog for me to become a writer slash blogger for them, but then also if they would be interested in featuring um, the story that that uh, the social entrepreneurship story we talked about this morning with with one and one B. Um, what else? There was other stuff that I had on the list from yesterday that you had made. Oh, Albania, yeah, I want to reach out to her to see what we can do with her in Fashion Week. No, there was a you, we had written it down, and then I had taken it from. It would, but then I put stuff back on your desk today. Okay. So that would do that to you. Here it is. Here it is, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Life of two creative genius. 
<laughs> all day, every day. Oh, I need to finish Fulbright, which I'll probably do tomorrow. I don't have time today. Um, we're playing to Fulbright. Fulbright, if you're watching this, accept my damn application already. We love you. We do. Um, I need to invoice Ben. Um, Mr. Altucher. I need to say hello to Mr. Altucher. Love you, James. We really love you, James. And we miss you. BizDev. Oh, what was this? BizDev? Strategy. Strategy. Oh, this is something I want to do with you to go through. We have a lot of different documents. So, guys, if you're watching, thank you for watching. We are really into Google Docs. We do a lot of Google Docs. In fact, we do like probably more Google Docs than we do video content, which is funny. It's my fault. I love Google Docs. <laughs> I love Google Docs too. I think it's the greatest thing for in the world. But creating Google Docs all day long is is only useful is if you execute on the Google Docs all day long as well. So right now we're at a place where we've created a dozen Google Docs this summer um, that we've done nothing with. And so to, for, yeah, totally just because we have so many things going on. But I, Santa and I are gonna sit today and go through all of our, so if you have a bunch of different moving parts, I really recommend getting your right hand man or woman, sitting with him or her, going through all the work that you've done. Summer's over, it's 68 degrees now. Hi, it's amazing, don't you love it? I, no, no you like the cool. heat, you're a Sacramento yeah. girl. I love the fact that summer's over. I love the fall. So take this chance to reassess and reorganize, and, and that's what we're doing this today. So I want to sit down with you for just 30 minutes, jam out on that. What else do you have for me? Santa. What else do you have for me? Santa. Good. All right. That's, that's the day. So next part, you're going to jam on the deliverables. I'm going to jam on all these things. Thank you for watching, guys. Let's go. Guys, really exciting meeting with our client. I, you know, I have to respect the confidentiality of the client, but what I can do for you is I can share some business development ideas that we implemented that are going to be very, very successful. If you are trying to do anything, if you're trying to raise money, if you're trying to, uh, get new clients, if you're trying to sell speaking, if you're trying to get new coaching clients, if you're trying to do all these different things, there's a number of different things that you can do and most of it is just really, really deep in the in the trenches digging of work that needs to be done. For example, so many people are worried that they only have a thousand or two thousand or three thousand or four thousand or five thousand followers, but like think about what you can do with those one hundred, two hundred, five thousand, ten thousand followers those people all have networks. When I walk into a room and I see 15 people, I don't actually see 15 people. I see 1,500 people or 15,000 people or 25,000 people because every one of those 15 people have 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 people in their network. And then all of a sudden, there's all these different people that I have access to, right? So this is one thing that's really important for all of you. Even if you have five people on your social media, see that as a vast network of people and start reaching out to them about what you want. Money, jobs, clients, uh, travel, hotel, whatever it is that you want, start to see things in a different way. Second thing is, you know, there are so, there are so many untapped resources that we have access to. And, and, you know, so for example, let me just give you some very practical tips. Number one, if you write an article on LinkedIn about your newest service or your newest product or your newest idea or your initiative or your organization or your movement or whatever, and you get a hundred different views and five, you know, 15 different likes and three different comments, right there, you have basically created a very focused, targeted ecosystem of people that are interested in what you're writing about. You have to consider something. There is so much content out there is so many distractions. There are so many people that are being pulled in so many ways. If 100 people took the time to not only go onto your LinkedIn, but then read your whole article, then liked it, like that in and of itself is a massive investment of their time. That in and of itself is a massive indication that they are into what you're doing. So tap into those people. 
so many people try to spend so much time trying to think about how we can get new clients and new this and new that and new this. Instead, I'm just a huge fan of going out there, putting content out, seeing who engages, seeing why they engage, and seeing how they can engage further for your thing. So it's just such an important thing. If you make a YouTube, if you are Santa Victorio and you make a YouTube video and you get six new subscribers, and if you have not re reached out to each of those subscribers personally, thanking them, asking them what the next video should be about, you're missing an opportunity. Some of you are so worried about the numbers, so worried about the amount of followers, so worried about the width of their reach that no one's going deep. And I'm all about the depth. If you have, if you give me eight followers, I will guarantee you I can find business from those eight followers. And it's not even about finding a business, but what I'm saying is, if you are using social media to sell things, which is why I love social media, then you need to start to think about the fact that there are a lot of people in the world and the ones that come to you because your content is good, because they believe in your initiative, that's my friends called pull marketing. Push marketing is the thing of the past. It's dead. Nobody wants the cold email. No one wants the cold phone call. No one wants the cold anything. They want to read something, to connect with it, to like you, to thank you for the value, to give you their like, to give you their knock on the door. When they're liking your post, they're shaking your hand. It's the same thing. What do you do with that handshake? What do you do when they're at the door? That's what matters. Hi, Diego, it's Brian Rashid. How are you? You too, my friend. How are you doing? Thank you so much for your interest and for writing and for contacting us. It was uh, great to hear from you. So, what did you have in mind? You know, you you said that you wanted to work for uh, work with us. Um, what did you have in mind? What what would be uh, what would be interesting to you? And then I can see I can kind of let you know more about what we're doing and figuring out if that would be a good fit for what we need right now. Because one of the things that is really important for me, and you're actually the perfect example of why this is important, is that we get those videos out in, in front of as many people as possible. So something that we are looking for right now on our team is someone to basically head up um, growth of, of video. And what that would mean is we had someone that did it this summer who was fantastic at it. Unfortunately, he had to go um, back to school, so he, you know his schedule wouldn't let him continue on. But what, what that means is we, we, would, we would, you as head of growth for our video, um, social media video, would, would be in charge of identifying different groups um, that would be interested in seeing the kinds of content that we're putting out. So for example, if we did a video about, you know, um, Latin American entrepreneurship, you would, you would literally go and you would do research and you would find different Facebook groups that would be interesting, um, that would be interested in the kind of video that we produce, and then you would drop that video in, and you would, you know, pretty pretty quickly see the results um, from your efforts in terms of how many views it gets. So, guys, this is really really cool what just happened because uh, this was a person that reached out to me recently moved from Bolivia to California, reached out to me on an, on email, said that he had watched several of our videos. Um, some of them in Spanish, some of them in English, and then he said, I love your mission, I love your work, I love your commitment, and I want to know how I can help. And so now he's going to be doing Instagram, he's going to be doing a, a growth for our videos, sharing them in different groups. And so, please listen, please listen. If you're waiting for all your content to be perfect, then I'll see you in a hundred years and you will be so sad that you waited. Because what I'm seeing, time after time, like I'm not telling you guys anything that isn't actually happening. That's why it's fun to document this whole thing. Everything that I'm sharing with you is stuff that's actually happening. So put out content. My Spanish is a B or a B plus, right? If I waited until it was an A, I never would have met Diego. I never would have like empowered him. Now I know what we're gonna, he, he has a project in Bolivia that we can probably do together. Please just put out content. Please stop waiting for everything to be perfect. Please just believe in the magic that's happening all the time. If, you, if your intention is good and pure and genuine and your heart is in the right place and you are willing to put yourself in an uncomfortable position. Speaking Spanish for me is very awkward. 
and being out in front of thousands of people in Spanish is very awkward. So, but I'll do that because I believe in what we're doing. A global brand, bringing all of the secrets and all of the knowledge to all of you every single day, all day long. And for that reason, I will keep putting out content because all good things just keep happening. Please put out content. Stop waiting for it to be perfect. It's never going to be.